Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Saksham Digital Technology. So basically in this video we are going to start our coding part of our particular project advertising uh, machine learning based uh, prediction model. Uh, like we are predicting the sales of mount with the help of these three variables like TV, uh, radio, newspaper. Uh, just take example like we are uh, investing 230 rupees on TV and uh, 37 rupees on uh, radio and 69 rupees on newspaper so i will uh, 22 rupees is on sales uh, this is like profit or the amount like we have 22 percent profit maybe so this is the kaggle data so you can see these are three uh, dependent variable and this is our output variable so with the help of these three variables we are predicting our output of sales so let's start with the uh, importing of libraries so first time so importing the libraries so our necessary libraries are like first we are importing pandas spd and our second one library is import numpy as np and our third one is import match.lib.py plot as pnd so these are our uh, necessary libraries we also import c1 because we need sometimes so import c1 Yes, SMS. Okay, our uh, these four libraries are imported, and after this, we are just uh, reading our data set. So we are creating a DF variable. In the DF variable, we have read our data with the help of pandas library. So pd dot read underscore csv. In our uh, this folder, we have our file name is advertising dot csv so our data is read in this variable so we are just printing our uh, data so we just want to head okay so our uh, data is like we have uh, tv radio newspaper and sales variable so after this we are just uh, finding the information of this particular data so df dot info so we get the information about this data so our data is to be like integer type values float type value float value float value so we have uh, integer value and uh, this unknown variable and our uh, float values like tv radio newspaper is a float and this one is also float value so after that we are just uh, uh, finding the null values in our particular this data so df dot is null uh, and we have round this round versus so you can see these are our false 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 because we don't have any uh, null values in this data so after this we are just finding is null uh, start sum so you can see we have 0 0 0 null, null values in, in this data after this we are just finding uh, the describe function so df dot describe so you can see our describe function shows the uh, count of the values like we have 200 values like we have 200 rows and uh, in the uh, in the tv we have uh, mean value is 147 and the radio we have invested uh, mean value is 23 in the newspaper the mean value is 200 uh, sorry 30 so you can see our uh, highest investing on amount is 147 uh, sorry mean value 147 is on tv so our standard deviation is 85 and on tv uh, 14 is on uh, particular uh, radio uh, and the newspaper is 21 the sales amount is 5 and after this you can see uh, we invest 0 0.70 uh, rupees on uh, tv and sometimes we are not, not investing on radio so 0 rupees is on radio and on newspapers we have 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.300 000 rupees so and we have uh, minimum sale uh, sales is 1.60000 so our 20% uh, 25% data is on uh, tv is uh, existing on 74 and radio is 9 and newspaper is two, uh, 12 so uh, same this 50% 75% and you can see our maximum value is 296 is on tv uh, 49 is on uh, radio and 114 is on newspaper and we have uh, 27 is on sales so after the, uh, this we have just finding the shape of our data we know uh, the row and column but we are just uh, showing so you can see 200 rows and uh, five columns we have one two three four these column and, and one is unnamed variable name so after this we are just uh, finding the duplicate value so df dot 
duplicated in this we have uh, not have any duplicate value so we get false 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 we add some this all the values like with the help of dot sum variable uh, for method so you can see we don't have any duplicate value after this we are just uh, uh, finding our column name so df dot this is the uh, process uh, with the help of pandas we done so df dot column we have uh, db variable uh, ready variable uh, newspaper variable and sales so our uh, this part is could be completed and after this we have just uh, uh, drop this variable name so for that we are just writing the code So you are uh, here you just passing not index equal to false, we are just passing x is equal to 1. So you can see our data is deleted this uh, particular variable, unnamed variable. Uh, so after that we are just uh, uh, storing our uh, in de in de uh, sorry, dependent input values is on x and uh, the output variable is on y. So x equal to df dot log. Uh, in the previous uh, project video we are just done this part so you can see in our previous videos so we log with dm dot column function co columns equal uh, not equal to sales mm -hmm. so you can see uh, excluding sales variable we store the all three variables is on x variable so copy this code and paste here and change the value like y in the y we have just passing only sales variable so you can see our y variable is stored the value of sales so this is clear okay so after this we are just splitting our data in the training or testing part so we are just importing from uh, sklearn dot model selection we are importing Train test is split. So execute this. So in the train test split, we are splitting our data. So write the code for that. So we are just uh, making variable like x train x underscore test y underscore train and y underscore test. So we are just uh, using train test split. In this, we are just passing our uh, variables like x, comma y, comma uh, test size. In the test size, we are just passing like zero point two, and we are just uh, selecting with the random state. Is equal to random state is zero. So you can see our code is to be executed. We are just uh, printing our values like x train. We have uh, one zero one six zero values in the x train variable and the x test. We have one sixty values. Uh, sorry, we don't have one sixty values, but uh, other than one sixty, we have forty values in, in test variable. So our y train variable is like uh, you can see we have 160 values of sales variable and in the y test so these are values are testing in, in the testing. So after this we are just making our model on this particular uh, data so apply model. We are using linear regression model we have continuous data set numerical continuous data set so for that we are just uh, uh, applying our model like from skill and dot model sorry dot linear model we are just importing linear linear regression so our model is to be imported and we are using with model equal to linear regression 
and we are just using this model so we are just fitting our model dot model dot fit passing x trim and y trim so our model uh, linear regression model is to be uh, trained with this data so just check with the help of this y predict variable like y predict equal to model dot predict we are just passing our x text variable like x text data variable so we are just printing our y variable y predict you can see this is our output of this particular test data with the help of training data so our model is to be done uh, and we are just importing our library import pickle as pkl with the help of this we are just dumping our this model save this model in our system so we are just creating our file name is equal to advertising advertising model dot pickle so this is our file name and after this we are just pickle pickle dot dump we are dumping our model so passing model with open this file name so we are just passing like file name variable with name and we are just writing mode so wv in the class we are just using reading mode so rv in here we are just using uh, wv so, so write this model in this particular file name folder pickle line uh, extension so execute this uh, we don't have pickle uh, so we are just uh, SPKL we are using this so changes so our uh, code is to be executed if we are not uh, assigning SPKL so you just write directly PKL uh, sorry pickle but I am importing uh, our library in this particular variable PKL so after this we are just uh, uh, showing this model is on our folder we are creating our uh, folder like name advertising and open this we are creating our uh, template name folder so templates and here we are creating our index.html file and one over is result.html file so these are our uh, html based files so and we are just uh, making a one more file app.py in this we are just writing a flask uh, code so before that we are just uh, we are just copy our particular model copy this model uh, we are saving here and uh, save this into the flask file so paste here and you can see our uh, model is to be this so in the next video we are writing our uh, flask code and uh, also our index file and result file code so thank you subscribe our youtube channel saksham digital technology